Welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NXCAM. This video will show you how to specify tracking points in centerline drilling operations for drilling cycles and non-cutting moves and will illustrate how NX automatically changes to the specified tracking point for each type of move. Here we have a simple turning part with a hole drilled through the center that I'll use to demonstrate the new tracking point behavior. We'll begin by examining the tracking points currently defined in the tool. In the machine tool view of the operation navigator, double click the drilling tool to see the tool parameters. Select the more tab. Expand the tracking section of the dialog box and click tracking points. The tool contains system defined tracking points at the tip, shoulder, and top of the tool. The tracking point at the tip is typically used for positioning and traversal moves. The shoulder, and top tracking points are typically used for drilling cycle moves. Now we'll specify which of these tracking points to use in the operation for drilling cycles and non-cutting moves. Double click centerline drilling to edit the operation. The tracking data options are new. These options specify which tracking point to use for non-cutting moves. Select system centerline tip from the tracking data list. This specifies that the tracking point at the tip of the tool will be used for non-cutting moves. The None option is available for pre-NX10 legacy behavior that implicitly uses the tip of the tool as the tracking point. Selecting a specific point from track data allows you to explicitly set the tracking point including tracking point change events for the post-processor. Next we'll specify the drilling depth. Select Cross Hole from the Depth option list. Select the face of the cross hole. Type 2 in the offset box. This additional cutting distance allows the tool to cut completely through the side of the cross hole. The cycle tracking point options are new. These options specify which tracking point to use for drilling cycles. Select System Centerline Shoulder from the Cycle Tracking Point list. This specifies that the tracking point at the shoulder of the tool will be used for drilling cycles. Generate the toolpath. The operation uses the tracking point at the shoulder of the tool to trace the toolpath of the drilling cycle. Next, we'll look at how the tracking point automatically changes to the specified point for drilling cycles and non-cutting moves. Tracking data specifies the tool tip as the tracking point for non-cutting moves. Cycle tracking point specifies the tool shoulder as the tracking point for drilling cycles. Click Verify. Click Step twice, and notice how the non-cutting moves use the tracking point at the tip of the tool. Tracking point change indicates the change from the tip, used for non-cutting moves, to the shoulder, used for the drilling cycle. Click Step once more, and notice how the tracking point at the shoulder of the tool traces the tracking point of the drilling cycle through the side of the cross hole. Another tracking point change is indicated, this time from the shoulder, used for drilling cycle, to the tip, used for non-cutting. Click Step again, and notice how the retract move uses tracking point at the tip of the tool for non-cutting moves. Click Step two more times to complete the tool path. The non-cutting moves continue to use the tracking point at the tip of the tool. Next, we'll see how the top tracking point can be used for drilling cycles. Select Endpoint from the Depth option list. Select the arc center to specify the cut depth. Select Cycle Tracking Point from the Depth Reference list. Cycle Tracking Point is a new depth reference option that allows you to determine the drill depth by referencing the cycle tracking point on the tool to the point you specified on the part under Depth option. Type 0 in the offset box. This value prevents the tool from cutting beyond the counter bore of the part. Select System Centerline Top from the Cycle Tracking Point list. The 
The depth option point specified on the part references the system center line top tracking point on the tool because cycle tracking point was specified as the depth reference. Click Generate. Click Verify. Click Step twice and notice how the non-cutting moves use the tracking point at the tip of the tool as they did before. Tracking point change indicates the change from the tip used for non-cutting moves to the top of the tool used for drilling cycles. Click Step once more and notice how the tool path for drilling cycle is indicated by the tracking point at the top of the tool. Tracking point change indicates another change, this time from the top of the tool used for drilling cycle to the tip used for non-cutting. Click Step again and notice how the retract move uses the tracking point at the tip of the tool. Click Step two more times to complete the tool path. Non-cutting moves continue to use the tracking point at the tip of the tool. Click OK in the Toolpath Visualization dialog box and click OK to complete the operation. Tools that have been created or retrieved from the library prior to NX902 will need to have the tracking group customized into the tool dialog box in order to display the tracking points. This concludes the demonstration of how to specify tracking points for drilling cycles and non-cutting moves in centerline drilling operations. Thank you.